short sale information, short sale agent, let's discuss Chase Short Sales. Hey, looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short spell short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, let's talk about short sales with Chase. They're not my favorite, let me give you a hint. Hey, we rarely have had a Chase short sale where uh, the Chase was a servicer and we had not had to escalate the file to senior management. The re this recent file was no exception. We've been working on this short sale way, way too long. We had a good offer and that would not only save the investor thousands, but also help the homeowner avoid foreclosure. It's a win, win, win. We received the short sale approval letter. However, it was different than what we had submitted. Chase changed the terms when they approved the short sale. Well, those changes were not accepted by the buyer or even discussed with either buyer or seller. Let's face it, you just don't change the terms and expect to force feed the approval down everyone's throat. Well, maybe if you're Chase you do, but that's not how you do business. We did all we could through the quote unquote normal channels only to be stonewalled at every turn. We had escalated the file to a contact at Chase who was normally very helpful, but also very busy. Nice, nice person, let me say that. Having spoke to her on Monday, we felt assured that the file would be handled by Friday. Each day we received voicemail when calling to follow up, and on our emails we got no response. Finally, on Friday we got a bounce back email stating that she was out of the office until Tuesday. We have a foreclosure sale date scheduled for the following Monday, so it was time to go over the top, as they say. We blasted out an email to every Chase senior manager we could find. Do we do it once? Twice, three times, oh, oh. we blasted it out every two hours from 7 a.m. Pacific till 4 p.m. Pacific. Well, we had quite a few angry managers at Chase, as you can understand. We were called unprofessional and were told that that was no way to get a return call or resolution. But you know what? We got a response, and it looks like our sale date will be postponed, allowing us time to resolve the issue and close the escrow. Did it really do what we want to do? Oh, hell yes. Will I do it again? Oh, hell yes. Did we make enemies? Yeah, probably. But I don't work for Chase. I work for the seller. If you were working with an agent who was a Chase priority partner, as they say, would they have gone to those extremes? Not likely. Look for guys that are not involved directly with your lender when choosing a short sale specialist. Is a short sale right for you? Give me a call. Let's talk about your situation. To get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info. You get a free report instantly in your email. And if you have any questions about your short sale, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Anyway, give me a call today. You'll sleep better tonight. And I'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining us.